Live from the local liquor store to your living room, it's Transformers News with your host, YouTube's most outspoken alcoholic and worldly wino, the dashing and debonair drunken prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, gather around. Let's grab a seat and uh, let's get into the news. So a couple of days ago, I was in a uh, group chat with a bunch of my friends in the collector community. And once again, the subject of commander class, quote unquote, Rodimus Prime came up. And um, it became very uh lively to say the least let's let's go with lively um there was a lot of uh hurt feelings a lot of people who were very up in arms that uh you know a guy like me and a bunch of other people in the room uh do not care for rodimus prime being a commander class figure and for the price point and for <laughs> several other things. Um, and one of the people in the chat challenged me with this question. He said, name three other characters that would have made a better choice for Commander class than Rodimus Prime. And, you know, me being the guy I am, I didn't name three. I named eight. And once I was done naming these eight figures, these eight characters, radio silence. There was just radio silence. And I told old boy in the chat, don't mess with me because... You're talking to the Rolex! Yeah! Where is yeah. it? Diamond ring, work. Kiss stealing, woo, wheel of dealing, limousine riding. Yeah. Now give me two claps and a Ric Flair. And uh, before I get started, before I get started, uh, before I go in to this, skids, bruh, you're on my radar. Don't, don't. Skids, skids, don't think Papa Bear hasn't put you on notice. I'm coming for you, buddy. We're going to talk about you in a little bit. So let's get into it with the characters I think would have made a better commander class than Rodimus Prime. I'm going right for the kill shot. This is the one that I broke out first and everybody was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You could easily get a base mode out of this. You could get a... Uh, you, <laughs> you, giant jet i mean imagine that on a shelf next to commander class jet fire sky fire imagine that that would look great that would look awesome i mean the masterpiece version is cool but i mean it has its flaws every everything has its flaws but i think that would have made for a fantastic fantastic figure right there right there next one Broadside. Broadside would have been a much better pick. A freaking aircraft carrier and a jet. That would have been cool on the commander class scale. Imagine your micromasters flying off of broadside or your micromasters fitting into the jet of broadside and being able to fly everywhere the playability for broadside would have been absolutely unbelievable now i know with blitzwing i had him in a previous video for the studio series 86 line my wish list for decepticons um sure yeah but if we're gonna go out of scale down what the hell let's go out of scale up 
So let's upscale Blitzwing to the Commander class for a moment. Now this would have been, once again, a great pick. Blitzwing, Triple Changer, cool. You could have probably incorporated a base mode. I don't know why you would. There's no need to. You don't need to incorporate a base mode into Blitzwing. But Blitzwing would have been a cooler choice because, once again, Triple Changer uh, turns into a tank, turns into a jet, turns into a robot. It was amazing. It would have been great to have a Triple Changer in the Commander class line. All right, for this one, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's let's have a little bit of fun. Octane. Now, once again, triple changer. Would have been very cool as a triple changing figure at a commander class scale. Now, the best part about Octane is there are very large third-party figures of, uh, of Octane. They exist. So honestly, I don't think it would have been that far-fetched to have Octane as a Commander class figure. I mean, he changes into what, a 757 or a 747, something like that. He changes to a giant passenger vehicle and he turns into a gigantic uh, 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 fuel truck. So I mean, another one that would have been a fantastic pick going with the flow not only is he sort of a side character but just like the other characters he did have a couple of episode arc with the uh, ghost of star scream arc so i mean he's not outside of the realm of the thinking of people just like skylinks just like jetfire he's not outside he's a side character but he's not outside the realm of possibility of a side character all right let's go let's go six shot Boom. Easily would have been. I, I mean, this one, if they would have put this at Commander Class scale, I probably would have paid. I would gladly pay $99 for this. I think Six Shot would have been a much better pick than Rodimus Prime. Six Shot would look cool. And I mean, he turns into six different things. Sure, sure. Whenever you have changers on that magnet of that magnitude, sure. It's a little bit difficult to have them transforming around. Sure, some of the modes are going to suffer more than others. But the fact that you would have a commander class scale six shot transforming into six different things would be super cool. Something to think about. Some, something to, to take in. Okay, once again, let's go. So... Overlord, another fantastic pick for the Commander class figures, for a Commander class scale figure. Overlord is, he has a base mode, uh, if you have the, uh, I believe it was a Power of the Primes version, uh, base mode, tank, jet, robot, four modes, already there. You need a Decepticon. There you go. There's a Decepticon. He's not outside the realm of of of, no, of the knowledge base of fans because anybody who followed the Machinima series, he was a big bad guy, and he was Megatron's uh, Megatron's chief rival in that series. Um, you know, just a just a a much better pick, and he's already a part of the lore. People love him, and. Uh, yeah, why not pick Overlord over a tiny, tiny Rodimus Prime? Upset special right here. This is the upset special, Tarn. Now, there are people out there who didn't read the, who've never read or probably never will, I don't know, uh, the comics with uh, the DJD, the uh, Decepticon Justice Division. So essentially, Tarn was the leader of the DJD and basically their job was to go out and hunt Decepticons who have turned against Megatron who have basically turned against the cause and basically Tarn is the equivalent of of, of religious zealot and hi <laughs> I love this character I mean there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing else to say uh, if you haven't read the comics go get the IDW comic books 
they 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 have them out there. They're out there in in uh, in a, a graphic novel form. Get out there, read read it. Just read about the DJD. Just just go online, find an overview of them. Read some of the comics. Tarn, you know, much respect to this dude. He's he's out of he's out of his mind. He's out of control. But he is such a charismatic character. I would actually. I would dare say he's the uh, he's the Joker of the well that that's a lie that's a lie I wouldn't say he's a Joker I would say he's the Hannibal Lecter of the Transformers universe picture Hannibal Lecter but as a big strong brooding Transformer then you'd have Tarn and Tarn would have been a better pick for a Commander class and finally to wrap it up Big Convoy. Ah, man. You know, find the Japanese Beast Wars. Occasionally I find them streaming on YouTube. Just type in Big Convoy episodes, Japanese Beast Wars or something like that. This dude is cool, man. Like, this dude is super cool. Uh, I really I really like this character. That's how I found out about him. Someone told me about him long long time ago then the toy came out in the encore series i believe it was it was the encore series and um i i wanted to pick it up but it was sold out at the time then it came back when i was just my I, but yeah i picked this guy up like if you can on the encore series but if you can't pick him up let's make him a commander class figure wouldn't that be cool a giant woolly mammoth Woolly Mammoth? Woolly Mammoth? Woolly. Well, I feel like Woolly Mammoth's a dude. But um, a Woolly Mammoth is a animal. So a giant Woolly Mammoth. <laughs> uh, I think that would have been a much better pick. Uh, but yeah, this is this has been fun. Um, this is what... This is essentially all the stuff that ran through my mind as I was kind of just putting my thumb on this person who challenged me on characters that would have made for a better commander class than Rodimus Prime. Um, you know, I, with that said, I, I really, really enjoyed this making this video. I really enjoyed just kind of reminiscing on my, some of my favorite characters. So with that said, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think about this list. Did I miss anybody? Would you add anybody? Would you take away any characters? Let me know in the comments. Let's 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 get this comment section lively and let's get let's get to talking about this. So with that said, be safe, be good, and this is the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer, and signing off.